welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our brand new die set, Build a Drink. This die set is so cute and so much fun. And we also are introducing our Build a Drink cocktail add-on. I love that you can use this cocktail on its own or you can mix and match the elements between the different drinks together. And we're gonna be showing you how to do that in this video. We are also going to be introducing our brand new Scripty Enjoy tie too. So let's go ahead and check it out. First up, we're gonna take a look at the build a drink die. So of course we have our glass, and then we have this piece here to fill the glass with whatever your drink is. We have this cute little cucumber and lemon so that you could make kind of like spa water. We also have a straw and some ice cubes and some fun little greenery, and of course, the cutest little drink umbrella. The die set also has this little piece here and that's gonna help you cut the liquid in the glass so that it looks like somebody has been drinking a little bit of the lemonade or whatever might be in there. So I love that you can get different looks by cutting that at different heights or you can also just use a full piece too. The other really cool thing about both Build-A-Drink and the Build-A-Drink cocktail add-on is that you can create shakers with these and they turn out so cute and we'll be doing that in just a little bit. And now it's time to start building this drink. So we're gonna add some liquid glue to the back of the glass and then we can layer that over our lemonade there, which looks so cute. And then next we can start to build some of the fun elements. So we're gonna layer these two pieces together to create the cucumber. And then for the lemon, you'll see that we have the base piece and then we have the detail piece we've die cut from both white and yellow. And first we're gonna add the white to be kind of like the rind sort of of the lemon there. We can layer that onto the base. And then we can add liquid glue into each of those little triangles and we'll be able to layer the other pieces of the lemon. And that's gonna give it this really fun detailed look. The last element that we need to build is the little drink umbrella. And this is a fun place to use colored card socks or pattern papers to create the most adorable little umbrellas. Oh, I love it so much. Now here is that little straw and we're gonna start mixing and matching the different pieces of this drink. And that's what's so fun about Build-A-Drink is you can layer them together. So to me, this kind of looks like one of those spa waters where they have the lemon and the cucumber and like the little sprigs of mint or thyme or whatever in the water. So pretty and so cute. And of course you can add that little umbrella which just makes it feel so special. We die cut the ice cubes out of pearlescent vellum, which I absolutely love. It also looks really good out of pixie dust cardstock. Here you can see the comparison between having the glass completely full or die cutting it with that little swoopy die that helps you die cut the drink. So both of them look amazing and I think both looks are so great. And I love that you can mix and match these pieces. I love putting the lemon at the top of the glass and you can just kind of play around with everything and create your own cool custom drinks. Now we're gonna take a look at the build a drink cocktail add-on. You can see that we have our glass, the area to fill the glass, a super cute toothpick, some little greenery, a cherry, and a strawberry. And you can mix and match all of these elements together to create a really cute cocktail. So first we'll add a little adhesive between the top of the strawberry and we can layer that right on like that. And then next up we have this cute little cherry. We'll add some adhesive to the back and the cherry has a little slit in the top where you can just tuck the stem right in which gives it this really cool kind of dimensional feel to it. Next up we're going to take a look at the toothpick. So it has that little like cellophane-y stuff that you put at the top of the toothpick. You could of course cut this out of any color or even pattern paper for a really fun look. I think it'd be really cute out of vellum too because it would kind of feel like that little, I don't even know that cellophane type paper that's on the top of those toothpicks. Next, we're gonna add some liquid glue to the back of the glass, and then we can layer in the liquid to the glass, and this is gonna fill that glass just like that. Then you can see how you can layer the different elements into the glass, and that strawberry in there just looks so cute, and I love adding all of that little greenery too. Now something really cool about this toothpick is, is you can actually take the stem out of the cherry and you could feed the toothpick through that little slot that's in the top of the cherry. And I think that looks so cute. So take a look at that. Oh my goodness. And then you can put that at the top of the glass. You could also add the strawberry or the lemon from Build a Drink to that to get some really cool looks. Now my favorite thing about the build a drink and the cocktail add-on is that you can mix and match all of these pieces together. So remember that little kind of swoopy line that's included in the build a drink? Well, you can also use that with the cocktail add-on. So it's sized perfectly to work with the cocktail too. So you can add that right on there and then hold it in place with some tape, run it through your die cut machine. And now you can once again have a little cocktail that somebody has drank a little bit out of. So we're gonna layer that behind the glass just like we did with the one that was completely full and now you'll see the differences in the look. So both look really, really great and you can kind of play around with what look you want for your card. 
And now the fun part, you can just play around and mix and match all of these pieces together. So you can add the straw to the cocktail, even though it comes with the Build-A-Drink. You can use the lemon from the other one and mix and match them together, mix and match the ice cubes. The possibilities are endless. So you can go from having a cute strawberry lemonade, which would be adorable, to having more like a strawberry daiquiri. So you can play and mix and match and come up with the most fun ideas. And there's something about building these little elements and mixing and matching them together that is so much much fun. I just love creating these. They're such a blast. And we're also going to be introducing our Scripty Enjoy die. This die is super cute with the Build-A-Drink, but I think it'd be really fun on a card that you included with maybe some baked goods or something that you were giving to a friend. And so we're going to be showing you how to use this in just a little bit. But first up, we're going to start creating with the Build-A-Drink die. So we're going to take out both the glass and the liquid die. And for the glass, we're going to be die cutting that out of some white shimmer cardstock. I really like using this because it gives the look of the glass with that little bit of shimmer that I think is so pretty. Then for the liquid, we're going to be die cutting that from some white cardstock. And then we're going to be using the little swoopy die there to die cut this piece. So it looks like somebody has drank a little bit of this lemonade. So my favorite way to add color to the drinks is to use ink blending. There's something about it that feels really realistic and it looks really, really pretty in both of the glasses. So since I wanted to make some lemonade here, I'm gonna start off with some lemonade ink. So I'm gonna add this ink towards the bottom and then I'm using some butter ink towards the top because it's a little bit of a lighter yellow and I kind of wanted that gradient look. So here, I'm just gonna kind of go back through the colors. It was a little bit too light, so I'm just gonna build them up. And now you can start to see what it's going to look like behind the glass. So next, I'm just gonna add some adhesive to the back of the glass, and then I can easily layer that right on top. Next up, I'm bringing some elements from both of the drinks to mix and match in this fun little lemonade. So I've got some ice cubes, die cut from pearlescent vellum, a little cucumber, a strawberry, and that fun umbrella. So I'm gonna layer the two pieces on for the cucumber, but for like the little seeds inside, I wanted to add those in too. You don't need to do this, but I just thought it'd be really fun. So I die cut it from some white cardstock, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue in there. And to do this when it's really detailed, what I like to do is pick up a little bit of glue with a craft pick like this, and then just drop it into those pieces. Then I can actually just layer this piece on top and press through with my pokey tool, and that's gonna actually drop those little seeds right in onto that glue, and that's all you need to do. Of course, I missed a seed there, so I gotta just add that one back on. Next, I'm gonna start working on the area that's gonna kind of be the scene builder for my drink. So here I have some white wood grain cardstock, and I'm gonna be using the secret garden window die. It has both of the garden and also this big arch opening, and that's the one that I'm gonna be using for this card. So I'm gonna layer that on top to a piece cut down to five and a half by four and a quarter, run that through the die cut machine, and now I'm gonna have this awesome die cut arch there. You can see with that pretty dotted detail all of the way around. Next up, I'm gonna take out the new fruit salad paper, and there's this really pretty pink gingham, which I thought would be beautiful behind the lemonade. Almost like that feeling of that classic kind of picnic blanket look. So I'm gonna add some adhesive to the back of this and then layer that onto a standard size card base that's also five and a half by four and a quarter. Then for some dimension, I'm going to flip my arched piece over and just add some foam squares to the back. And this is gonna give this cool kind of shadow box feel when I layer it over top of the gingham paper. And I just love the look of the lemonade on top of this. It just feels like summer. So next up, I wasn't totally sure about all of the colors of my elements for this card. I had this cute little drink umbrella that I had cut out of some stripes and sprinkles paper, but I wasn't so sure about that pale yellow color. So then I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna leave that be one second and then move on and see what else I'm gonna do. And I thought that a striped straw would be adorable. So I'm taking some more stripes and sprinkles paper, but this time using the stripes part, and I'm gonna die cut that straw from that paper. And that straw might be the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's just so adorable. So I'm gonna add some tape runner to the back of the glass so that it secures the straw as I kind of feed it through the glass. So I go through the opening of the glass and then in front of the lemonade. And it is just so adorable, oh my goodness. Then next, I'm gonna start layering all of the different elements in my drink. And this is just the fun part. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Everything is going to look cute. So I'm gonna add some tape runner to the back of all of the pieces so that I could kind of layer them as if they're kind of all stacked towards the bottom of the glass. So I put the piece of the lemon a bit, little bit over the straw. Then I'm gonna add the little cucumber over that and then the strawberry over that. 
Then I'm gonna bring in my cute pearlescent ice cubes and then layer them over top, kind of tucking them behind as well to get this really cool kind of unique look with everything layered towards the bottom of the glass. Then I'm taking the base of the umbrella and I'm gonna add that into the glass as well. Also feeding it through the opening of the glass and then having the end of the umbrella kind of be into the lemonade. And I still wasn't so sure about the different colors of the umbrellas. So I went ahead and started die cutting some different colors and that felt too matchy matchy. That didn't feel quite bright enough. And so I thought, what if I took a look at the new fruit salad paper? There's this really pretty yellow gingham. And so I'm gonna die cut that from there. And it ends up being the perfect color because it kind of matches is the lemonade at the bottom of the glass. So I thought that was so pretty. And then so I'm gonna add some tape runner on the back of that and then I can layer that right onto the umbrella. Then next, I'm gonna add some foam squares to the back of the drink just to give it a nice little pop in this cute kind of shadow box feeling window. Then the next thing we need is a sentiment. So I'm gonna take some of this shimmer paper but the back of the shimmer actually doesn't have any shimmer on it or any texture, which I love because that was kind of the look that I was going for, but I really wanted that color. So if you ever see the shimmer paper, but you didn't want the shimmer, just flip it over and you can use the back. Then here, I'm gonna take my Simply Summer Sentiments, which I thought was perfect to go along with this really summery card, and I'm gonna take one of those and curve it to match my banner. And that's one thing I love about clear stamps is that I can do these kind of things to make them feel really custom. And this is gonna say, have the coolest day ever. So we're gonna stamp that right onto the banner. I'll add some tape runner to the back, and then I'm gonna layer that over the glass a little bit so that it kind of almost becomes like the table that the glass is sitting on. And now this card is all done and it is so much fun to create these drinks. I can't tell you what a blast it is. And then of course I had to put this in an envelope because we have a brand new washi tape that is so perfect for this card. So I love using washi tape to seal my envelopes. It just feels so cute and special. And this fruit salad washi tape is the cutest thing ever. I love the little smiles on the fruit and it just makes the envelope feel so special. I also wanted to show you a comparison to a different card I made that was a little bit more simple. So I love that you can take these same drinks, but just put it on a colored cardstock or a pattern paper and it makes a super cute card too. Now we're gonna start creating a shaker with these different drinks and oh my goodness, these shakers are so cute. But we're gonna start off with some ink blending first. So this is the build and drink cocktail add-on and this is the liquid piece for that. And we're gonna ink blend with peachy keen and peach fuzz to kind of create like an orangey looking drink. So peachy keen is more of like a peachy or pink color. And then we're gonna take the peach fuzz and we're gonna go over top of the pink and then back up towards the top of the glass, kind of lightening as we go up. And you'll see that it's creating this really pretty peachy orangey color that I think is just gorgeous. It feels like a sunset, it's so pretty. Then for the glass, we're gonna be using some turquoisey shimmery paper. So instead of using white, we're gonna use turquoise. And I love this look. This is inspired by a glass that Grace made and I thought it was just so pretty. To add a little bit of ink blended texture to this piece, we're gonna take some merman ink and just ink up the bottom and a little bit of the side of the glass. This is super quick and easy to do and it just makes the glass feel special. Now we're gonna start working on our shaker parts. And to create the shaker, we're gonna die cut the glass piece a bunch of times out of white cardstock. Here I've die cut it about eight times. Somewhere between six and eight is pretty good. So I'm gonna add some liquid glue on one of them and then stack another one on top and then keep repeating that. And as I stack these pieces of cardstock, it's gonna create some height that our shaker pieces are gonna be able to move around in. There's something really fun about doing this too. I don't know what it is. I find it very relaxing. So I'm just gonna keep adding liquid glue to each piece and then keep stacking another piece of our white glass right on top. Once I see that there's a nice height so that my shaker pieces will be able to move around, I can flip it over and add some liquid glue to the back and then we can layer that right on top of that piece that we ink blend in. And look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I love how this looks so much. Then I like to take an anti-static powder tool and just run it along the inside part of the glass and that's gonna help remove any excess stickiness that might be there. The powder will stick to it and remove any tack and then our little shaker pieces will be able to move around really well. So here I have some clear sequins which are gonna look really pretty inside this glass. And then we're also gonna take out the little ice cubes and we're gonna die cut that from this pretty pearlescent vellum and the ice cubes are gonna become some of our shaker bits too. You could get creative and use some of the other elements from the build a drink to add them inside as well. 
Once I have all of those pieces in there and I kind of like how it's going, we're gonna start working on the rest of our shaker. Right now I'm adding some adhesive to the back of the main glass piece, the one that I've cut out of blue. And then I've cut the drink piece again out of acetate. So that's that same kind of drink piece that we ink blended orange earlier. It's been cut out of acetate and we're gonna layer it on the back of the blue glass. And that's gonna be creating our window. There you can see how that's looking now. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is take a double-sided adhesive sheet. I'm gonna take a little piece and add it to some white cardstock, and then we're gonna die cut that again with our drink die. Now you could just use liquid glue here, but I really like using these double-sided adhesive sheets, so I thought that would be fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and die cut that. Then I'll peel off the liner paper, and I probably should have waited to do this part, but that's okay. I'll peel off the liner paper, and then I'm gonna flip it over and add some liquid glue so that I can add it to this cocktail glass. Now the reason I use the double-sided adhesive here is because I didn't want any of the liquid glue to kind of seep on to that acetate window. So it's just me being extra careful. If you're more careful with your glue, you could use your liquid glue, but the double-sided adhesive sheet I thought would be kind of fun. So now because we had already peeled up that liner paper, it's sticky already, and I can just layer my main piece with the window right on top. And this is gonna create our shaker. And as you can imagine, you can do the same exact process with the Build-A-Drink. So you can do this with either the cocktail or the Build-A-Drink to get a really cool shaker look. Then I thought it would be fun to take one of these little sprigs here and just tuck it behind that glass there. So I kind of tucked it behind so that it's gonna have some dimension as we layer on other pieces. So now I'm gonna create kind of more like an orangey look with the lemon piece. So I like that you can get different fruits. You could do limes as well. So here we have some pretty oranges that I've gone ahead and die cut. And then I'm gonna add my liquid glue to all these little pieces. And you'll notice that I keep using my craft pick and the liquid glue that way. My hands aren't super steady today, so it was easier for me to do that than trying to use the bigger one that I had to squeeze. So I'm going to go ahead and add in some liquid glue into all of the little triangles. And then I can drop in those little detailed pieces. And with the three different shades, the white and the light orange and the dark orange, you get this just really, really cool look. And I love how nicely it matches the ink blending that we did earlier. Then we can take that orange slice and tuck it behind the glass. So you'll see there, I'm just gonna kind of lift it up and tuck that one behind just like we did with the sprig. And that's gonna give some fun dimension because now we're gonna bring in that cute little cherry. So I'm gonna add the stem to the cherry and then we can layer the cherry on top. And that's gonna kind of help bring all of these pieces together and give this fun kind of like craft cocktail look to this drink. And now we can start to shake our little shaker. And how cute is that with the sequins and the little ice cubes moving around? Like I can't with how adorable it is. Next, I'm gonna take out my white gel pen and just add some fun little details around the glass. And then we're also gonna add a little line to the cherry. And there's something that I think just kind of brings it all together and looks so cute when you do that. Now here we have some stripes and sprinkles paper and I'm gonna take this sunburst backdrop and we're gonna die cut this beautiful paper that has that nice kind of light yellow with the little dots. Then we're gonna take a reversed scallop circle window and we're gonna layer that over top of the sunburst backdrop, centering it there with the circle opening. This is a technique that a couple different girls from the design team have done lately to create a fun little window to highlight a stamp scene or a die cut element. And I think it looks so cool and I was so excited to try it. So now you can see we have our cool little window with our fun sunburst look. And I'm gonna go to that fruit salad paper and I'm gonna pick out this little orange paper, which I think is gonna be so cute with this glass. Then I'm gonna take a piece of vellum and I'm gonna be layering that vellum over top of the pattern paper to diffuse it a little bit. And this is such a fun technique that I love to do because I feel like it gives me a whole different look from my pattern paper. So right now the oranges are really bold, but when I add the vellum over top, it's gonna to give it this really soft look. And you could do that over the gingham in this paper as well for a really, really cool look. I added some tape runner to all four sides because I know that my sunburst backdrop piece with the window in it is gonna cover up that adhesive so I don't need to worry about it showing through the vellum. 
Then I'm gonna take this window piece and we're gonna add some foam squares to the back. I added way too much foam. I just kind of got in the zone and I kept adding foam. Does that ever happen to you guys? And then I looked at this later and thought, oh my gosh, that's a lot of foam. Anyways, I peeled up the liner paper and now I can layer that over top. It's gonna to give kind of that same shadow box feel that we had in the first card, but with a really different look. And I love the look of the vellum over that orange paper. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Then we're gonna bring in our little crafted cocktail here and look how pretty this is. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. So next up, we're gonna take out that Scripty Enjoy die and we're gonna die cut that from some white cardstock and also from some stripes and sprinkles. There's a really pretty orange stripe in there and we're gonna be using that as a little bit of a shadow to kind of bring some of the orange from the glass and the paper into this word. So I'm gonna add some liquid glue to the back of the word enjoy and I'm gonna layer that on, shifting it over to the right just a little bit. And now you'll see we'll have this really pretty striped shadow that I think is gonna look really nice and kind of helps it pop on the card. I'm also doing the same thing with the little dot for the J in enjoy. I think it's so fun to mix and match die cut sentiments with stamp sentiments. And so in the Yappy Birthday set, there's something that says on your birthday. So I'm gonna ink it up, but I'm only inking up the your birthday part. And I'm gonna stamp that onto some white cardstock. Then I'll take a sentiment banner die and line that up right there. So I've got the little flag towards the end and then run that through the die cut machine. And now we'll have this little flag that I'll be able to tuck behind the enjoy. And you can imagine you could take other things behind the enjoy. Enjoy your day, enjoy your birthday, um, et cetera. Enjoy your anniversary, et cetera. You can kind of have a lot of fun with that. So I'm gonna kind of tuck that behind the J and then put it over the Y so that it kind of feels like it's really a part of this die cut sentiment. And then I'm gonna take some more of the greenery, cut in that same cilantro cardstock as the greenery we put in the top of the glass, and we're gonna add these to the side of Enjoy. And I like that this kinda of helps bring the green from the top down towards the bottom of the card. So I'm just layering those two little leaves there, and I think that just looks so pretty. It kinda of fills in that space to the left side. And then we can just layer this right underneath the drink. Then the last step is of course to uh, dot the J. And we're, so we're gonna add that little dot there right on top and I'm just kind of layering it onto one of those scallops so that the scallop kind of holds it in place. Then I'm just gonna add some tape runner to the back of this cocktail glass uh, because it already has a ton of height because remember we stacked up all those pieces to create the shaker. And then we can layer that into that center window. And now this card is all done, and I love the idea of creating shakers with both the cocktail add-on and the original build-a-drink. It's so much fun and so easy to do by just stacking up all the layers of the glass pieces. You could put sequins, the little ice cubes, die-cut elements, or even fun little shaker bits inside, which would just be adorable. And I thought it was so cool to kind of highlight the glass in this fun little window design. And then here I just wanted to show you a comparison between the two cards so that you can see one that's a shaker and then one that isn't and how you can do more of a cocktail look or more of like a lemonade look or a spa water kind of feel so you can really mix and match and create some cool things with these die sets. And next up Shari is going to create an awesome slim light card. So take it away Shari. So on my build a drink card today, I am going to be creating two drinks because I'm making a slimline card and I want one on each end of my card base. I'm going to start with this bucket here. I've already cut out all my pieces. For the drink, I cut this from some pink spiffy speckles paper and then I need to take that kind of S-shaped die that comes in the die set and cut the top of this solid piece so that I have the top of the liquid for my drink. Then I can layer on the glass. This is just cut from some white cardstock. And now I have a glass full of pink lemonade. This is going to have the little umbrella decoration. I've cut the umbrella post and base from some mermaid cardstock. Then I'm layering over some guava cardstock for the umbrella itself. And then I cut that piece again from some ballet slipper cardstock and I just trimmed on those lines that the die creates with my scissors so that I got that center piece. And now I have a little umbrella with two different colors on it. So that's just going to get tucked inside there. So you want to make sure you tuck it in front of that piece at the back. And then I'm just going to tack it to the back of the liquid part with some glue. And I'll hold that in place with my tweezers. That'll hold it there until it dries. But I also wanted to tack a little bit right here on the glass. 
So I'll just hold this in place for a second while it dries. And then I'm going to move on to the little things that go into my glass. Now these pieces here, this is meant to be cucumbers, like cucumber water, but I cut it from some yellow cardstock and pink cardstock because I thought it looked like pink lemons this way. And I just thought that was fun. It worked with the colors of my drink much better than the color of a cucumber would. I'm also adding in some of the little leaves, which I've cut them out of green, like mint leaves, and the ice cubes, which I cut from some fog cardstock, so it's that very pale gray. Once I figure out where I want all these elements in my cup, I did shuffle them around quite a bit to get the look that I wanted. I cut that out so you didn't have to <laughs> see all the shuffling of the pieces. But now that I have them where I want them, I'll just pick each one of them up and add a little bit of glue and then drop it back into place. And then this ice cube that's at the top, it's like it's floating. I'm just going to tuck that behind the top of my liquid. And you'll see here towards the end, I do add some stickles to those, which really makes those ice cubes kind of sparkle, which is fun. Now I'm moving on to the second drink and I've cut this from some yellow Spiffy Speckles cardstock. So we have some lemonade, on this side, we had some pink lemonade in the other glass. And then of course, I have this fun straw. I cut this from some mermaid cardstock. I am going to layer this on the front of the lemonade liquid so that you can see the whole straw, just like you would if it was really in a glass of lemonade. And then now I can assemble my lemon. So I cut the solid piece from a darker yellow and the inner piece from a lighter yellow. These are from the textured canvas yellow pack. And then I also cut that inside piece from a pink. And I'm just going to drop the little triangular pieces down into the lemon. Of course, this makes some pink lemons as well, but I did want that little pop of color. I didn't want everything to be just a bunch of yellow because this is kind of a bright and fun sort of tropical-ish card that I'm creating. So I'm making two of these lemons. One is gonna go on the top of the glass, which is this one here. And again, I'm just putting little dots of glue into those little triangular pieces and I'll just pop the pink ones down inside. And now I have another lemon for the garnish on the top of my glass. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue that right in place. I cut the little sprigs from some purple. I don't know if you've ever had lavender lemonade, but it is delicious. And so I thought that this would kind of be like that with a little bit of that purple color in there. So these are my lavender sprigs that I'm just sprinkling into my cup. I've got one down there with the lemon, and then this one I'm going to kind of tuck behind and have it sticking up out of the top of the glass. And then of course I have those same ice cubes cut from the fog cardstock. So here are my two tropical lemonades put together. I'm just going to set those aside while I work on the rest of my card. As I said before, I am doing a slimline card. So I have my largest of the slimline rectangle stackables. I'm going to cut a piece of blue spiffy speckles as well as a piece of craft cardstock so we can create kind of a sandy beach for everything to sit on. So I also have that long slimline stitched hillside and I'm going to use that to cut the craft card stock. Just kind of checking, making sure my glasses have enough space to look like they're touching the sand at the bottom. And I'll just run this through my die cut machine. And then now I can add some ink blending to this. So I've got my tea dye Distress Ink and my blending brush. And I'm just going to darken up that top edge with that tea dye Distress Ink. And this is one of my favorite ways to make sand. I also like how that Distress Ink gets in the grooves of that stitch detail and makes that stand out just a little bit more. Now to add that texture that's in the sand, I have some white watercolor paint. And then I'm also going to add some dark brown. And that just gives it a really nice texture and a look like it is sand along the bottom of the card. 
Now for the sentiment, I'm using the Giant Hello Sunshine die. I've got three colors of cardstock here. I'm going to cut the whole thing out of yellow. Then I will cut that Hello piece out of some Peacock cardstock and trim off the letters of the word sunshine at the bottom. I'm just being very careful to kind of trace that curve so it looks like it was originally cut like this. Then I'll just add this layered over that hello, the yellow hello, with some liquid glue. This is a really fun way to make a sentiment like this a bunch of different colors to have some more depth. So I'm just adding that hello on top. Then what I'll do is I cut the word sunshine out of the orange. You can kind of see that in the upper left corner. I am going ahead and putting that stitch rectangle onto my card base as well as the sandy bottom. And that's just so I can glue my sentiment to the card base and then drop those inner pieces of the letters in. So I'll just pop out all the pieces of the word sunshine and those inner pieces of the letters. I'll add some liquid glue to the back of this and glue it right to my card base. You can see I've cut the E, it's right above the card base there because there is still an interior piece of the E that I need to keep. So I'm just making sure this is straight on my mat because that helps me kind of eyeball that this is straight onto the card base. Now I can take that orange piece that I die cut the word sunshine from and start popping out the inner pieces of the letters and just dropping them in with a little bit of liquid glue. It is also a fun look with that line of the sand going behind it as well, which you see really well through those letters. So it just depends on the look you want. I did want this to be nice and bright and bold on my card. So I'm just popping out each letter and dropping it back in with a little bit of liquid glue. And you'll see when I get down here to the E at the end, I'm gonna pop that out and then I'll put that inner piece of the letter E back in. Now I can add my drinks on each side And the straw is going to kind of go off the side of the card. That's why you saw me wipe off the glue. And the same is going to be true for my little umbrella up here. It is going to go up off the side of the card just a little bit. And then of course, nothing's complete without some glitter. And like I said before, I added some glitter to those ice cubes, which really made them sparkle, which I think was a really fun look. I also traced the word hello with the glitter to make it shimmer as well. And then here is a look at my finished card. I really think it's fun the way it turned out and filled the card with just die cuts. I love those two lemonade drinks that I created with their little lemon details and the glitter on the ice cubes is just the best final touch. Oh my goodness, Shari, I love this card so much. The Hello Sunshine sentiment is so perfect and I love all the glittery summery details. And next up, we have some incredible cards by the design team. And this 21st birthday card by Audrey, I thought was so incredible. I love that she added some foam to the top of the beer by using some of our textured embossing powder. So creative and cool. I am so in love with Grace's card. I love the two cocktails together, and you can see the cocktail that inspired us to make ours today. Oh my goodness, Kara. She used our new beach sunset stencils for the background, and this drink looks absolutely incredible. And I just love how Callie created a cute little tablecloth for the drinks to be standing on by adding a fun little scallop border and some of that new gingham paper from Fruit Salad. Grace gave a fun tropical feel by adding some palm trees and a hibiscus flower that I just love these all together so much. And then this card by Elena is so pretty. I love the sending sunshine sentiment and how she added the little elements around the glass at the bottom too. 
Grace created two shaker cards, one with the cocktail and one with the build a drink. I love how she added those fun little strawberry and lemon shaker bits inside. And she added the top of a cupcake to this one to make it feel like a milkshake. Isn't that the coolest idea? Then here she has this fun tropical drink and I love all of her cute layered elements and all of those little lemons around too. This card by Anea is so fun and I love how she incorporated a doily into the design. It goes so cute with the drink. And then here Megan's cocktail is so pretty. I love that sunset inking that she did all over the card. This card by Rebecca is so much fun and it shows that this drink looks amazing on a clean and simple card too. It's so perfect for a birthday. And then this card by Lynette is so fun. I love the bright yellows and how she used the elements that could go in the drink all around the drinks instead. It's a really fun way to ground them. Letitia beautifully combined a bunch of pattern papers with our brand new playful pineapple dye and the Scripty and Joy in such a pretty way. And then here Elise shows us that you can use Scripty and Joy for a fun birthday card with the new Yappy birthday set. So we cannot wait to see what you guys do with these different die sets, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!